Imagine that you're walking through this beautiful park on a bridge and you suddenly notice that this ironwork has a rusty edge to it. And you're sad that oxygen is doing all of its dirty work and is rusting this iron away. Little do you realize that in this gamish of rust, there's all these microbes who are actually happy that this reaction is happening. They're actually thinking of all of this rust as food. Microbes are, however, not just rust eaters. They can actually eat remarkable varieties of things that give them energy and electrons. So when you think about your surroundings, if you see anything that looks remotely edible, you can only imagine that it's probably full of microbes. Microbes actually see electrodes as being really, really tasty. To them, it's a source of electrons. It's also a surface on which they can transfer electrons. And many scientists have used this idea and they have gone to really strange environments like the deep sea floor, even mines, where they have stuck electrodes and everywhere they stick an electrode that's moving charge, they find microbes getting attracted to it and sometimes even making a living off of it. So why bother doing this stuff at all? Why do scientists really go out there and stick electrodes in different environments? It's primarily because we don't understand how microbes can do certain things. But the one thing we know is that microbial diversity exists around us. And what these electrode studies allow us to do is capture this diversity and might depict to us how microbes can do amazing energy transformations and chemical changes that we have never imagined before. Perhaps even helping us decontaminate radioactive uranium sites or sites that are contaminated with chemicals that we have no way of getting rid of. Well, if you think about life um, and the origin of life, all life started most likely as a small microbial cell. And when you think about microbes and you think about their ability to just interact with these charged surfaces all the time, it's hard not to imagine that maybe when these microbes were interacting with these charged surfaces, they also started interacting with themselves because they also have charge. And maybe over time and long periods of evolution, this interaction led to what looks like higher forms of life and multicellularity. Maybe that's something that you would ponder about after you you're done watching this video. <laughs>